guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. If I seem flustered or if I lose my train of thought more than usual in this video, I'm sorry. I don't do well in the heat. I don't do well in the heat. I need a bum beep, okay? It's Friday. I Oh gosh, this video is gonna be a freaking mess. I'm just warning you right now. So, I know the lighting is atrocious and honestly, there's nothing I can do about it. I've been messing around with my camera, with my lights. I can't control the hot, 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 blazing sun in Miami. I don't know if you could even see me. I know this is gonna be a pointless makeup tutorial because the lighting is so bad and it's so bright behind me and usually, usually, I know what you're thinking, Kathleen, why don't you film the other way around? so that the sun is facing my face and you get a much better situation. However, if I turn around, you get a wall. All you're gonna see is a wall, my brown boring wall, and I figured this was more aesthetically pleasing, but you can't even see it because it's so bright out here, you, 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 can't, you can't see anything. Um, I mean, Let's try it, okay? Let's try it. If it looks terrible, I won't post it. Maybe I'll post it even if it does look terrible because I definitely need to post a video, so. <laughs> Hello guys, today's video is going to be a full face of sweat proof makeup. I'm gonna show you how to stay flawless and fresh in the Miami heat, folks. So I'm gonna start off with my brows as usual and I mean, I would usually skip this step on camera. I would usually do it first. But I just wanted to mention that my Glossier Brow Flick is the absolute best brow product even when it's really hot outside because it is so long wearing. In my personal opinion, I feel like if you're in Miami, and it's very, 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 very hot outside and you're absolutely sweating your ass off, then you're gonna melt off your Anastasia Brow Wiz. In my opinion, the ABH Brow Wiz doesn't last on my skin as well as my Glossier Brow Flick. I feel like this thing is super, super long wearing and even if you get caught in the rain, okay? Caught in the rain. This brow flick ain't going anywhere. It's truly like such a good product. You do have to get used to it. In my opinion, it's so hard to use when you first get it, but then you get the hang of it. I can't tell if they're uneven because the glare is so intense and the sun is in my eyes, so I don't even know if this looks good, but I know it's gonna stay all day even in this heat. Moving on, I'm gonna take my Glossier Boy Brow. This is gonna keep this baby in place all day and it's gonna keep them feathery and delicious in the hot, hot heat. If I go like this, I feel like you see my face better. So, next up, I'm gonna put some SPF on. I can't believe I've been sitting out here for 10 minutes and 30 seconds without putting any SPF on. I'm gonna take my Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40 and I'm gonna use this one because it's actually really good at being like water resistant and waterproof. I swear, whatever I put on top of this just sticks to my skin and it really does become like so water resistant. Like usually, I will use this sunscreen whenever I'm gonna go to the pool if I'm gonna add a little bit of makeup So if I'm gonna do like a little bit of mascara a little bit of concealer and my brows and go to the pool I will put this on first do my makeup and then get in the pool and I swear that my makeup does not move I mean, I'm not like swimming underwater obviously, but it's such a great like waterproof SPF it's awesome. So for foundation, this part is very, very important. I feel like even though I am very, very dry, by the way, do not look at my nails. I was trying to test out some new toppers and colors, but then I didn't want you guys to see anything, so I just like swiped it all off in like five seconds, and now my nails are a mess. But anyway, the foundation that you wear in the hot, hot heat is very, very important. You're gonna want something that's not gonna slip, something that's typically water resistant or sweat proof. And one of my favorites, do you guys remember, I was obsessed with this foundation when I had had really really bad breakouts on my forehead due to drinking too much kombucha this is the only foundation that I was wearing because it's the only one that would last all day and keep them covered all day and it was really good at camouflaging all my imperfections oh my god where's my foundation brush <sighs> One. This is the It Cosmetics number 77 brush. And I'm gonna take my Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Long Wear Liquid Foundation. And this does have a matte finish. And so does this one. I'm gonna mix it with my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin 24 Hour Foundation. And I'm just mixing these two because I really love both of them. And this one is a little bit more natural on my skin. So I do like the combination of both. Plus, this one in 3.W is like very, very light. So mixing them gives me my perfect shade, even though I'm very Casper at the moment. I need to get my self tan on so it at least looks like I've been out in the sun for summer You know what I mean? I need to pop on some of that loving tan my friends So a little goes a very long way with this guy, but I'm just going to buff that into my skin This urban decay foundation is the best if you're ever gonna go like whitewater rafting or doing like crazy 
crazy like outdoor sports because in my opinion it just lasts such a long time if you have super super dry skin and you want something that's heat resistant but that isn't exactly like waterproof or like super super sweat proof but is gonna keep you like nice and flawless all day I would recommend the L'Oreal fresh 24 hour one like my favorite foundation from the drugstore I swear not sponsored but the other day I was at a photo shoot and my friend Melissa was like oh my gosh what is on your face because everybody was outside and they were drenched in sweat and my face was still intact and I was like oh I'm wearing my L'Oreal foundation and she was like blown away because everybody was all sweaty except me but that one's definitely better if you have like super dry skin me with really dry skin I still get away with using this foundation especially in the summertime because it is hot out here like if I was inside right now putting this foundation on I would feel super matte I would have needed to put on like a very hydrating primer underneath but sitting out here I am sweating so much that like even my uh, skin is a little bit tacky. Like it doesn't feel overly matte or anything like that. Okay, so see how my skin looks nice and fresh but very flawless and even. And it's gonna feel like this for the remainder of the day no matter how hot it is. Now I'm gonna go in with some concealer. This concealer is awesome if you have really oily skin or if you're outside and you're very sweaty. This is the Stay Assurance Concealer from JCAT and it's their Water Sealed Zero Smudge Concealer and it's super long wearing. I freaking love this. It reminds me a lot of the um, Tarte Shape Tape but I think it's even better and it's a lot more affordable. I'm gonna add a little bit of that to my T-zone and my chin a little bit, this area. All right, now that I have giant puddles of sweat under my armpits, let's move on. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face makeup before I move on to the eyes because for the eyes, I'm gonna keep it very simple. Whenever I'm gonna be out in the hot sun, like if I'm freaking camping, I mean, how often am I camping? But if I am camping, I'm probably not gonna do a smoky eye, but if I wanna have like a little bit of something, like if I'm on a tropical vacation and I'm out at night and it's like super hot or something, I love going in with a nice cream shadow because they last all day and they do not budge. Actually, you know what? Let's just move on to the eyes. I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Eyeshadow. You guys have seen me use this quite a few times, maybe. But this one is in the shade Bet, and it's my favorite. I love these things. By the way, if you see flies flying all around the screen, I'm sorry, I live in Miami, okay? We have a shit ton of flies and skeeters everywhere. And a lot of iguanas. If you see just like iguanas, passing by in the background. Ignore them. There are friends here in Miami. But anyway, I'm gonna take my Bet Cream eyeshadow and I'm gonna take this Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. And I'm just gonna apply this on my entire lid and create like a very soft bronze smoky eye. But anyway, the other day, my dogs were out here. We were just hanging out in the backyard and all of a sudden this like baby iguana pops out of the bushes. Oh my God, what is it? I thought something was crawling down my shirt. But it's just a large drop of sweat going through my boobs. Anyway, an iguana popped out of the bushes and when it saw Celine, it completely freaked out because Celine tries to make iguanas her lunch every day here. And it was a little baby. You can tell it wasn't like an adult iguana. You know, he was like a little guy. But he freaked out and then jumped into the pool and he went straight to the bottom. And I freaked out for a second because I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Because I know that iguanas swim, but that guy was not coming up. He, he was staying at the bottom of the pool and it freaked me out and I ran and grabbed my giant pool stick thing. I don't know what that's called. The thing that you use to remove all the leaves in your pool. And I grabbed that and I tried my best to get that guy out but for some reason he didn't want to come out and he kept like swimming and freaking out at the bottom of the pool. It took me like five minutes to get him out and I was freaking out but I saved him. I was able to get him out and I released him into the bush. I just couldn't live with myself if I knew the reason the iguana drowned was because he was trying to run away from Celine. I would feel so guilty. Another thing I really, really love about cream eyeshadows, the hotter you are outside, the more like wet and oily and glisteny it looks on your lids. It's like freaking amazing. I don't know, I love wearing cream shadows in the hot, hot sun. Oh man, I left my pencil brush inside, so I'm gonna have to use this on my lower lash line. All right, the eyes are completely done, but I am gonna add a little bit of something else to them. I just wanna add a little bit of sparkle in case you wanna take the outdoors look an extra step further. I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Starfire, and I'm gonna add a little bit of this onto my lids. This is the most long-wearing, budge-proof glitter ever. It's like, it does not come off your lids unless you physically take it off, so I love that. I just wanna add a little bit of this right to the center to add a little bit of a sparkle like right in the middle. Not that you can see that because you're also blinded by the sun, but adding this really does help add to the glistening sweaty effect. So it's like, oh my gosh, 
is she sweating or is she just sparkly, you know? Okay, so really quickly, I'm going to curl my light cheeks. And now I'm gonna go in with mascara. And of course, normally you would probably wanna go in with like a waterproof mascara. If you're scared that you're gonna get like black smudging all over your face from the sweating, I would probably suggest a waterproof mascara. But personally for me, I love using tubing mascaras when I'm sweaty because even though it's not waterproof, like it's not gonna stay in place if you're swimming, it doesn't smudge, you don't get black crap all over your face. If it does come off, it comes off in like little tubes and it's something you can just like pick off your face. I love wearing this mascara in the heat because it really does just hold up so well for me personally and I hate removing waterproof mascara so anything I can do to not have to put on waterproof mascara that's great I like to sit out here do you hear that I live on a main street but I like to sit out here and pretend that whenever a car passes by that it's a wave oh look another wave is coming just close your eyes doesn't that sound like waves crashing on the beach? Coming in and out of the ocean? That's because it is, because I live on I live on the beach, guys. It's right there. That fence is not a street. It's a beach. And I just like to sit out here and listen to the birds chirp and the waves crash. Okay, the eyes are completely done. I love looks like this. Like this is the perfect everyday makeup look for me. And it's sweat proof, heat resistant, and it's gonna take you through the day. And it's like so sparkly and special, but Still every day. I love it. I love it. So I am gonna apply some highlight first and my favorite thing to wear when I'm outside is a cream highlight. I just feel like as it warms up with the heat outside and your skin, it just looks so natural and beautiful. I'm gonna take my Hourglass Cosmetics Champagne Flash Highlight and I'm gonna put that on with my finger. And I'm about to go in with some powder products so that's why I wanna put my cream products down first. Oh my gosh, my nail. <gasps> que pena, Dios mio. If your skin is normally really oily, I wouldn't recommend taking your highlight too far in because you might look a little bit sweaty, but I don't mind looking sweaty. Love it, love it. I'm gonna add some of that onto my nose just to add a little bit of something. I just love how natural cream highlights look. So pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with bronzer. I'm just gonna take my Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer. I love this one because it gives you like a nice, natural, warm, glow which is perfect for the outdoors but it is also very long wearing so you get the best of both worlds and even though i like applying a cream highlight to my skin when i'm outside i don't like applying a cream bronzer and a cream blush because then that's just way too many cream products and then that could end up being a greasy mess all over your face if you're not careful so i like to just add one cream product and then go powder for the rest to help control the oils and the sweatiness. Taking a little bit of that bronzer onto my neck. Just bronze up the skin. And then for blush, I am gonna go with something a little bit more bright, but of course, I'm going to be using my Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blushes. I'm obsessed with these blushes. They last forever on my skin. I don't know if it's because it's primer infused, but I swear they're super, super long wearing. And this one in the shade Mykonos is a really pretty bright, poppy, peachy mame color. And I love it. Okay, you can't tell that much here, but I swear my cheeks look very peachy pink and lovely. I am gonna add just a touch of Benefit Cookie Highlight to the very tippy tops of my cheeks just to take it up a notch. Totally not necessary, but this highlight is so intense that just like a little bloop at the top. Oh my gosh, view. Just a little bloop. Okay, and now for lips, I'm going in with like my new favorite lip combo of life. Guys, you need this in your life. This is the new Alamar Cosmetics Birthday Suit Lip Liner and Lip Gloss Duo. It is so freaking beautiful. It's my favorite lip liner she has come out with. It's great. So I'm gonna overdraw my lips a little bit. I cannot get over how good this lip liner is. And these Alamar lip liners do last a really, really long time. They're not like waterproof, but they last all day and they fade in a really, really nice way. I'm obsessed. And now, it's time to apply the birthday suit gloss on top. I love these glosses specifically. Like, this formula that she has is really great because it just lasts so long on the lips. I have so many glosses in my collection that I have to reapply, like, every 20 minutes because it just fades so easily. This is a super, super thick and juicy glossy gloss that lasts all day. Okay, guys, that completes the makeup look. We just need the finishing touch, which is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. This one is great. 
at making your makeup last all day without stripping it or really really drying it personally if you want like super intense isn't going anywhere makeup like if you're in Miami honestly because right now like wow the swamp ass is real but if you want a setting spray that's really gonna your skin and not go anywhere I recommend the Scandinavia setting sprays or the Huda Beauty one is literally Cement. The Huda Beauty one is hairspray, 1000%. I would recommend that Huda Beauty one, Huda Beauty one, if you want like an extreme setting spray. This one is great for us with dry skin. But okay guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this look. I personally love it. It's such a pretty everyday glam, natural look. I mean, this is a little bit more natural and natural, but I still love it. But this does complete this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you could see it. And I hope it was helpful for some of you. I would love to know what your go-to summer makeup products are. Like if it's a really, really hot summer day, what does your makeup routine look like? Give me your full face makeup routine if you're gonna go camping. <laughs> Or if you're gonna be out like at the fair, but you got to put makeup on what is your routine look like? I am so curious to know but that completes this video guys. Thank you so much for watching I love you guys so 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 much Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye Hey guys, what's this? Oh my god, I'm so hot that I can't even speak I can try that again. Oh Celine, I didn't know you were out here. So a little goes a very very long day. Lilla. The heat is getting to me.